Welcome to Dictionary Jumpstart. We'll start off by selecting our writer. We'll scroll down. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a Cybra connected to a USB port. If your writer is connected to a serial port, you'll need to come down here and select the correct COM port. This setup is the same as in your CAT software. Dictionary Jumpstart offers seven different modules. In the back, you'll see the different sub-modules that are contained in each module that we offer. For demonstration purposes, we're going to choose the Names module. And we're going to scroll down here until we come to Surnames. The Names module has well over 10,000 entries. We're going to select Surnames and click on Build. We'll make sure that our writer is connected with a couple of strokes on it. Stroke out the word and click on the period with the asterisk to move to the next new word. At this point, your hands are glued to your steno writer. All of these things can be accessed from your steno writer, so there's no back and forth between your computer keyboard. I can stroke out this word as a veto, and then click on the comma with the asterisk to stroke it out as as a veto. and then I hit period with the asterisk to move to the next new word. We recommend that you stroke each word as many different ways as you can imagine. It's very easy to input about a thousand words in an hour. I can click on J with the asterisk to remove all of those entries to start over in an entry. I'm going to stroke out this word two different ways. I'm hitting my comma with the asterisk, and same with Aldridge. Now I'm going to take a break. So I'm going to click on Save to make sure I save my work. When I come back, I want to make sure that I've highlighted surnames, and then I click on Build. Dictionary Jumpstart will take me to exactly where I left off in that file. We recommend completing each submodule before you export it as an RTF dictionary. For demonstration purposes, we'll click on Save, and we'll pretend like we finished this. We'll click on Make RTF. We recommend saving the RTF dictionary in either My Documents or your desktop. We'll save the RTF. At this point, you would import this RTF dictionary into your CAT system as a brand new dictionary. Review your entries. At that point, you may choose to keep this dictionary separate or you may merge it into your own main dictionary.